Good morning everybody. It's literally like half past nine. I've been up since eight getting ready. I've just done my hair, like straightened it. I didn't wash it today, but yeah. I'm just about to get dressed and then I'm off to Sheffield. I was trying to talk myself out of it this morning, but no, I'm like, yes, let's go. Let's get this shit done. My dumb blonde. Guys, I've literally left the house on time, which is so rare nowadays. But I'm just gonna head to the train station and hope that I've like got enough time to do everything. I think I have. I need to activate my new card. But yeah, I'm excited. Here's an update for you. I am so bad at maths. Like, it's this joke in my family how bad at maths I am, but I don't think they actually realise that I am this bad at maths. <laughs> Basically, my train is at 11.58. It takes 15 minutes to get to the station. I thought, right, I'm going to set off at 9.50 because that gives me 15 minutes to get there, which would be 10.05. But I classed it as 11.05 because I'm thick. It's like, yeah, 9.50 add 15 is 11.05. And then I can like check my card, make sure it works, get my ticket, yada yada. I get St Pancras at 10 past 10 and I'm like, hmm. <laughs> I was so confused and then I realised that my train's at 11.58 so I would have had to wait there for an hour and 40 minutes. So I was like, screw this, I'm off home. So I've come home, I've now got half an hour until I need to set off again. I'm going to set off at 11 because I've done my card now, I don't need to do that, I just got my tickets to get. So I've got half an hour just to chill. I did manage to go shopping. I went to Urban Outfitters. Guys, I've changed my entire outfit, I've popped my Guns N' Roses top on, I've got this jacket on a choker and I've got my hair up because it was a bit greasy and it was like annoying me being down and I've also got some leggings on so this is now my outfit what I'm also now taking my YSL bag just packed it full of my stuff and I'm gonna head off now because it is now 10 o'clock 11 o'clock even 11 o'clock bye little cheeky one he's so confused say mom you told me you were gonna be gone all day in your back you silly witch <laughs> bye now this is literally such deja vu, but I am off to St Pancras again. Wish me luck. I'm probably going to be really late now and miss my train, which would be so annoying. Such a nice day today. It's like kind of warm. So that's why I changed my outfit, by the way, because I was so hot. One, two, one, two, three. I've been feeling so small. Watch the clock ticking off the wall. But tonight I'm letting it go Spend my coin for sure I'm gonna be myself Or I could be someone else No one's stopping me now I'm gonna skip my breaks I'm gonna make mistakes I just wanna feel alive It's just what I do when I'm out So try not to hold me down Feel alive Hi guys, guess who's made it to Sheffield? Me! Me and mum both need a wee so bad, so we're gonna go find a wee place. A toilet. <laughs> Hi Jane! Hi! <laughs> Where are we parking? I don't know, I've never been in here. No, I'm gonna say I've never been in here, we normally park in John Lewis. Chuffing hell, four pound an hour. Reverse. <laughs> We're now on our way to find a lavatory. Lavatory. <laughs> a lavatory. We're we'll going Marks and Spencer's there off one. Yeah. So guys, I've just had my ears pierced again and I wasn't actually allowed to film it, which is fine, but I got two more in each ear and they're super red right now. But I got it done at Claire's and yeah, <laughs> I feel a little bit faint. I don't think I'm that badass anymore. The girl was lovely. Ooh, that's oh yeah, the girl was so nice who did it. Honestly, I'd recommend the chapel walk Claire's to get it done. Gabs is a tad freaked out. Gabs needs some sugar. I don't think I've really showed you guys or told you guys about my earrings. I got these ones. They're like the silver 
or it's like gold plated or something oh my god i should totally know what they were but i didn't take into consideration what they were they're like gold plated silver ones with little gems in and they cost 40 pounds each and as you can see i got three but it didn't cost 40 pounds for the last set i just wanted them all the same while they heal because you have to let them heal for three weeks but i'm gonna let mine heal for like probably like three months because i'm prone to getting infections in them yeah i thought i'd get them all the same and it didn't hurt i got i decided to get it done with the gun because i got my nose done twice with the needle there's something about that now that i just oh i can't deal with the thought of it so i didn't think i would get them done if i had them done with a needle i thought i would freak out so i ended up having them done with a gun and yeah the people were nice weren't they they were lovely Oh, lovely. Lovely. <laughs> Had a bit of an audience while I was getting them done. So hi if you're watching. Probably going to have to rush to the train station. When do we go to Austria? Is it Monday or Tuesday? Oh, Tuesday. I've been thinking it's Monday. Tuesday. <laughs> Good morning. If I look weird today, it's because I've got hair oil in my hair. I just like put loads on before I went to bed. But hello. Good morning. <coughs> oh, I think the illness has finally hit me. I don't feel well at all. But I need to pack a suitcase today because I'm pretty sure we're going to Austria. So I need to find a suitcase and pack it. We're only going for three days. So I don't really need that many outfits. But then there's Christmas. But to be honest, I'm hoping that I can be back here on Christmas. I don't like being in Sheffield. I really don't. Not because of like Sheffield people, just because of CBA to go into it. I honestly don't know if I should vlog today because I really don't feel well. And I don't want to be in a whingy mood. And when I don't feel well, I just can't see the good in anything. Yeah, I'm going to start packing my suitcase. Oh my God, I've also got advent calendars to do. I'm so behind on them. I'm a bit stuck, guys, because I don't have anything in the house to eat. And I want to be eating healthy, but I literally, I don't have anything. I've eaten everything. So the only thing I can do is order some food, because I'm not going out, because I really don't feel well. So the only thing I can do is order something. Then doesn't that defeat the point of, like, trying to be healthy? Because it's, like, ordered food. I guess I could order something that is healthy. I don't know. We'll see. I don't think it was a good idea to watch the film Sully before I'm going on an aeroplane, especially because I'm already scared of flying. I'm such an idiot sometimes. I think the flight is only like one hour or two hours, so it shouldn't be that bad. Like, it'll be over quite quick. But it is at 7am and it's from Manchester, so we've got to get from Sheffield to Manchester, check in in time and get the flight. And also get up and get showered and everything. So we're literally going to be getting up at like 3am. And the thought of doing that when you don't feel well. <laughs> so much colour. Nelly is literally so ready to come and get in this suitcase. Look at him. I've been tapping him out of it every time he's tried. So he's trying to be like subtle. <laughs> I thought I would show you guys everything that I take with me. Now this seems very excessive, but I'm quite an excessive person. <laughs> if I didn't have one of these things, I'll be like, no. <laughs> so first of all, I take everything in two of these bags. They're from Primark. And firstly, I have a moisturizer and I'm gonna go see if I've got like a tube version because this is always really awkward to take with me. But I do really like this moisturizer and that's for my body so I don't get dry skin. I then take this oil for after I've washed my hair. I just put lots of this in it and it makes it super soft. I've got a razor, my contact lenses. I need to go get the other eye as well. I always take some mini scissors because they always come in handy. I've got a fake tanning mitt, a perfume, makeup wipes, some toothpaste. I will take a toothbrush as well, obviously. I've got a hair mask because my hair's been feeling dry. Shampoo. This is the Aussie Mega Shampoo. I've got a conditioner as well and I might actually just take the hair mask instead of taking the conditioner. Contact lens fluid, some what are these called? Cotton buds, fake tan and deodorant. And that is everything toiletries wise that I take with me. I'm a very excessive person and I never regret it because I've always got everything I need. Oh, also I've got some shower gel. I'm really zoomed in and I don't know why. I just want to show you guys how much stuff fits in one. So this is now full and ready to be zipped up. But the only things that are left are my fake tan perfume and my contact lens fluid, which I will actually pop into my makeup bag when I pack that. So I don't actually think I'm going to need both bags. I'll just 
put these in like a clear plastic bag instead. So yeah, there we go. I love these bags. They're honestly so handy and I'm pretty sure it was like three pounds in the sale. Perfect. Time to show you what I got in my advent calendars. I thought it would be so much easier to just open them because I've missed so many days. So starting off with the benefit calendar, I've got this lip gloss, which is cute. I have a lolly tint, a mini Benny tint, a bad gal lash and a mini their real mascara. From the body shop, I've got this chamomile gentle eye makeup remover, a spiced apple body gel. Oh my God, this smells incredible. I've got this lip and cheek stain, which I've never actually heard of the body shop doing. So I'm excited to try that. Then I've just got a brush and an eyeliner and a nail file. And then for NYX, I've got these three shades of the matte lip cream. This one is called Rome. This one is Addis Ababa. <laughs> and then this one is Cans or Can, whatever. Then I've got three eyeshadows. There's a pretty blue shade, a really nice like rusty red and kind of a burnt orange. So yeah, they're super pretty. And finally onto the L'Occitane calendar. I've got this essential water, which I'm guessing is just like a face spray. I have this mini foot cream. I think this is a shower gel. Yeah, shower gel. This is a shower oil. Got a cherry blossom shower gel, a cherry blossom shimmering lotion and this soap. So that's everything that I've been missing. I've got this Kylie Cosmetics bag. Should I give away a lot of this stuff? Because there's some stuff that I use, but then there's a lot of like minis that I've either already got or I've got similar colors like these NYX matte lip creams and stuff. So if you think it's a good idea for me to do a giveaway of some of these bits, I say some of these bits, but it would be like a hefty lot of them. <laughs> Let me know. And I'll just do that in a vlogmas somewhere or maybe after Christmas, that would be easier. Look how packed this is though. Oh my gosh. It's crazy. I'm actually gonna go now and I'm gonna put this vlog up today and today is like the day I'm filming this so there won't be a vlog tomorrow because I'm not gonna carry on vlogging today. So tomorrow will be a missed day but I will be back with a vlog on Monday. So give this one a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I'll see you on Monday. Bye.